Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siavash is here and in today's tutorials we are going to combine some of our networking knowledge together. In previous videos you became familiar with the concept of inter-VLAN routing by using the multi-layer switch as well as you know how the access lists are working. So here we are going to combine the ACL in our inter-VLAN network scenario. I just add this server to the previous scenario in video number 9 and uh, just assigned the IP address 192.168.0.2. I just have a brief review here. We got the VLAN 50 for server farm, VLAN 100 for IT department here and the sales department with VLAN 200 with 192.168.200.0.24 and since we run the IP routing in the multi-layer switch here we can ping all the segments via the host in this network so let's try go to the laptop 0 in IT department since you are working in IT department go to the desktop command prompt and just IT config to make sure that we got the IP address. Now we change 192.168.0.1. I just ping the server 1, waiting for the first ICMP packet. Okay, we can ping the server 1. Let's try the server 2 as well. Okay, waiting for reply of ping. And here we go, we can ping from the IT department both the computer and servers on the VLAN 50 and let's try some ping of the VLAN 200 as well just ping one of those PC here okay here we go request timeout and final reply from those machines so back to the PC1 for example and try from just pinging some servers ping 192.168.0.1 we can ping easily Let's try the other one. Also, we can ping from the PC1 as well as PC2. Ping 192.168.1. Correct. Number two. Yes, we got the reply from both. So, let's say we want to block the traffic from the VLAN 200 to our server from VLAN 50. By using the access list, actually, we can control this traffic. What type of the access we have to use obviously we want to have a control both on the source and destination so we don't have any other choice except the extended access list let's begin by configuring the extended access list go to the switch enable the switch go to global configuration mode now you are very familiar with this concept and let's start uh, one access list for this control before I creating let's see where how we can do this we want to block the traffic from this segment to this segment but the rest of the traffic from the VLAN 100 must be able to go through okay so I starting with the IP access list command question mark for you to remember these things extend that and let's create something like uh, we want to control over the VLAN 200, just make it as a sales ACL. You want to control there. So, extended access list, the rule is near to the source address to have a better performance for our control plane on our device. So, we, are want, to, we want to actually block the traffic from this segment. We're going to the use the question mark. We have option for deny and IP protocol what we want to use and we want to let's let's say for example first of all we want to block the entire segment so 192.168.200.0 okay wildcard mask 000.255 to the destination of 192.168.0.0.0.0.255 as a wildcard mask if you uh, not familiar with this access list, I recommend that you go back and watch again the extended access list videos. We are using the name access list and to prevent the deny all statement, we just using the permit, IP, any and any at the end. So let's start applying this access list where we have to apply since we want to this access list be near to our source 
we have to apply on the gateway of VLAN 200, which is interface VLAN 200 using the IP access group, and we are using our access list, which is our sales ACL, and in inbound direction, immediately when the traffic goes to the interface, the access list will apply. Let me zoom for you. You take a close look on the configuration here. We got the access list, extend the access list, sales ACL here. We got two lines, deny everything from the network 192.168.200.0 to the destination of server farm here. And we add the permit IP to any to any. And finally, we apply the access list sales ACL in the interface VLAN 200. Okay. Let's use the control Z back and use the show access list currently we have this access list yeah, I'll take a close look yep here we go as explained we got two lines here and let's test it okay go to the PC one previously we can ping this server but currently we have a destination unreachable because immediately when our traffic is goes to the access list is catched by our access list and let's try the other one yes we couldn't let's try can we ping the this laptop here or not okay we're going to ping 192.168.100.1 and yes we can do that let's go back to the multi-layer switch and use the show access list and see exactly what's happening here previously we got the show access list sales we don't have any match traffic but after we try to ping from the sales VLAN to the server VLAN, we got eight matches. And when we try to ping the IT department, which allow here permit by IP any to any, we got four matches. So as you can see, it's a very powerful tool. ACLs can obviously control every traffic on your network. Uh, let's be a bit more specific here. Let's say, for example, uh, what else we can do here? Okay, let's say we don't want to block the all traffic from this VLAN to the server farm. We just let's say we want to allow the one of these uh, the PCs actually can get access to the server one only and only server one, not server two. How we can modify our access list? So as you guess, it's very easy. We go to the global configuration mode, IP access list, extended sales. ACL, we're going to edit the previous ACLs we got here. And I just want to add another line to our ACLs. And we just want to permit, but since we got the two sequence here, 10 and 20, and the access list is read on order, we're going to add additional sequence before the statement 10, which is denied the entire traffic. We're going to put the number 5 for, for a sequence and permit. Let's IP and let's apply to yeah, let's apply to rest, yeah, one nine two, then one six eight, the two hundred the zero, wildcard mask zero 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 dot two five five, and we want to permit, let's say for example, to server one only. Let's say the server one is our web server, we want to need to access, but the server two is a other service for other usages, and we don't want to give the sales department to access to that server two. Uh, we want to permit to host, let's say on specific host, 192.168.0.1 and press OK. Here we go. Let me zoom for you. OK, yes. I just add 5, permit the VLAN 200 to the specific host, which is the server 1. And we are using the show access list. And here we go, we got our new line, new sequence 5 here. If the traffic is matched with this statement, it apply and matches. If not, go to the second sequence, which is sequence 10. And if it is not, go to the 20 sequence. Let's try PC1. OK, we want to test the previous traffic, 192.168.0.2. For sure, we couldn't ping destination those are reachable. But now we got the access list sequence that allow to ping the other server. So easily, as you can see, we can ping from the both PC number two for sure destination unreachable. And now we can ping the server. Let's go and see how many traffic catches here. 
Okay, yes, as you can see, the sequence Y also got some matches here because the computer, the host belong to this subnet, got the permit to access to the server one. And with using the access list, actually, we have a full control over your network. I mentioned this previously, and also you can apply another access list. Let's say, for example, in this scenario, we want to using more access lists here and want to uh, block the traffic between these two VLAN which is a very common requ requirement on today networks so let's go on the multi-layer switch create another access list global configuration IP access list again we want to use the extended access list and this time we call it is the IT ACL IT department ACL and we just want to deny any traffic from the 192.168.100.0.000 entire or you can have you choose the host a specific host only deny 192.168.100.0 network to 192.168.200 VLAN 200 segment on 0.0.0.255 press enter okay I forget to put the IP here because we don't choose the protocol now this is the line we got here and the second line will be the permit the rest of the traffic which is permit IP any to any destination from any source to any destination let me zoom it for you yes we got the access list extended ITACL name here and one sequence is deny the traffic from the IT department to the sales department and the other one is a permit IP to any to any which means that the, we expect that traffic from the green VLAN VLAN 100 can reach to the this VLAN 500 server form here and let's apply it okay exit interface VLAN you guess yes true interface VLAN 100 we want to be close as possible to our source address okay IP Access group and we apply the IT ACL and please uh, use the meaningful name for your access list and we put in okay let's show access list and see what we got here we got two set of access list sales access list which previously created here we got some matches here and the new IT ACL which try to deny the communication between two VLAN Okay, let's see. Can we ping from the laptop the server? Yes, still we can ping it. Another server? Yes, still we can ping it. And let's try see. Can we ping 192.168.200.1? And as you can see, the destination is unreachable. Let's go and check our matches. And here we go. We got some matches here. The deny traffic between two VLANs is catch here, four matches, and the ping to the server we got four matches also here. So you may ask, so now we apply the access list on a VLAN 100 interface. What about the communication from the VLAN 200 to 100? Let's see. And okay, we previously we can ping the 192.168.100.1, but now Take a look at the ICMP message here. The request timeout. Here we go. The request timeout. What does it mean? Okay, it's, let me explain for you and just compare here to here. Before I explain, just try to ping server number two, which is ACL catch it. Destination unreachable. Here we got the request timeout when ping the computer in IT department but here we got the destination on ritual. Destination on ritual is easy here we got some catches for our access list here we go these, these numbers increased previously we got 15 matches now we got 19 matches which is clearly but what's happening when ping from the VLAN 200 to VLAN 100 we didn't apply any ACL here for the controlling the traffic from here but still the ping is lost Okay, the answer is like here. Your packet is stored from these PCs from this VLAN 200. It goes to the switch. 
reached to this destination actually in real world but when they want to come back they couldn't because we have the access lease ITACL which block all traffic from the 192.168.0 networks to this destination that's the reason we, when we apply the access list here we actually control the traffic over here as well in the other hand okay this quick video is combined the uh, technology of the ACL with the inter VLAN routing I hope this video is helpful for you to apply in your testing environment as well as your production if you like this video useful please subscribe in our YouTube channel as well as share it Thank you and bye for now.